and this is it. The majority of fans are inside the stadium now, and the tension is palpable here ahead of the UEFA Europa League final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary position is, of course, Stuart Robson. And we're just moments away from kickoff. It's Real Betis up against Manchester United. Well, Derek, this should be a top-class game between two excellent teams. Whoever gets control of that midfield area should win the game, but I think this is too close to call. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? He might yet finish. And effectively parried away by the keeper. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea stands between the posts. Aaron Wan Bissaka starts alongside Luke Shaw as fullbacks. Marcus Rashford starts with Anthony out wide. And Wout Veghorst is the striker. Chance to take the lead. Well, fantastic reflex action from the goalkeeper. Well, how about Canales as a player who can do the lot? Stuart, in your opinion, what will we see from him in this match? Well, the best players are the ones that can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas. He wriggles out the situations, he can find that penetrative pass, and he's such a good player when he gets the ball out of his feet and gets shots away. He could be the outstanding player today. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. Wout Weghorst. Fred. It's with Martinez. Marcus Rashford. Tremendous ball played through. And a goal for United! The opener in the final! And it could be hugely significant! Well, here we can see just how good the cross from Rashford was. And Fernandez wasn't going to miss that. He knows exactly where to be in the box when the ball's played in. It's an excellent finish. Carvalho and it's with Rodriguez William Carvalho oh a vital interception Fred plenty of support here Rashford now oh, showing excellent judgment to intercept Borja Iglesias on to Iglesias chance to do damage oh maybe the equaliser and somehow kept out by De Gea Now the delivery, not all that convincing defensively. Can he put it away? Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, it's the perfect finish, isn't it? As you can see, you can't place it better than that, can you? Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Oh, 
he's lost possession of the ball. Oh, and it goes to propel them into the lead. Just what they wanted. Well, let's take another look. If you lose the ball in those areas, you're going to get punished. And that's exactly what happened there. On they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? Lisandro Martinez. Fred with it. Verhorst. On to Bruno Fernandes. A very timely interception. Strong play here. Rodriguez. Now Canales. Just one minute of stoppage time, say the officials. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Turin. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Looking for that final pass and for that chance to level the game. And an astute piece of defending. William Carvalho. And players waiting in the centre. It might be. He had to react and did. Well, shielding the ball admirably. Juan Bisaka. Manchester United keep the ball. Advantage. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Out of play. United throw in coming up. Here's a change for Manchester United. Can he get them level? Bruno Fernandes. This could level it. Oh, but the keeper with an important save. How important is that? Well, he should score from there. That's a wasted opportunity. He should beat the keeper from that sort of distance. That's what you call defending from the front. Possibilities here. And the keeper more than equal to it. Playing it in, it hasn't come to very much. Now well, they've given him too much space. Shaw. On to Rashford. Can they convert? And a goal here! Just what Manchester United required. They are level. Well, here it is again, and I don't expect keepers to save everything at their near post, but I think he should probably do better. He'll be a little bit disappointed with that. Manchester United Just 20 minutes remaining now. Well, another equaliser. What a topsy-turvy game this has been.
Sabali. Well, can they open up the defence here? Well, I think a classic commentator's curse just then. Couldn't make the ideal pass. And they need to get tighter. The cross is on. The horse. Really important piece of last ditch defending. Veghorst. And there is the goal to re establish their advantage. Well, here it is again. And how many times have we seen this in recent games? Teams trying to play out from the back, not doing it particularly well, giving away sloppy possession, and then getting punished. It's a really poor goal to concede. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Ten minutes left for play. They are making headway, but really they need a goal with time not on their side. Well, the supporters think it's on. Oh, a goal to level it up in the closing stages. Who's going to claim the trophy? It's an open question here. Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So back underway, and there we have it. Six goals divided evenly. Oh, breezing past him. And they're on the front. Oh, a buzzer save. And it remains on even. Well, there you have it. Fancy a short one. Joaquin. Fred. Marcel Zabitza. Bruno Fernandes has it. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. William Carvalho. Joaquin. Well, they still have designs on the win. Oh, could be! They cannot be separated here, and it's on to extra time.